I don't know if you guys have heard, but there is a convoy coming. And it's not stopping. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it is called the Freedom Convoy 2022. It left Vancouver, BC yesterday at about noon and is traveling from Vancouver all the way across this great country of ours. And it's going to end up in Ottawa. And uh, I think it's uh, rolling into Ottawa. The bulk of it will be rolling into Ottawa Friday, midday Friday. And uh, we are going to park the truck. The trucks are going to be parked everywhere. Um, they've got an estimated strength right now. They're estimating saying about 500,000 people, uh, not 500,000 trucks, but 500,000 people are going to be uh, converging on the, on the city of Ottawa. Um, it is going to be, it is going to be hell. Now, I just want to say a couple of things, and this is just my take on it. This is my two cents on this. Okay. Um, this is not a convoy in my eyes or, or from the, the, the people that I've spoken to, the, the coordinators and, and the people putting this together. This is not a convoy saying that, you know, these are a list of demands that we want and we're not doing anything until you do something about it. This convoy is, not also, is also not just for the truckers. It's not for the truckers. It is for every Canadian that at some point or another in your life or with your job, your professional, uh, your professionalism, uh, whatever. If you were given a choice, if they said to you, you have a job, but we need you to get double vaccinated or you can't work here. Well, they say to you, okay, you've got a choice. You can either get the shot or you don't have to get the shot. That's entirely true, right? I've got that choice. I can take a shot or I don't have to take a shot. But if, at the end of the day, if, if it's I have to take a shot or I won't have a job, that's not a choice. That's an ultimatum. So now they've turned around and said, OK, now you've got an ultimatum. So if you are one of those people and the examples are our, our fantastic, hardworking nurses, these people that have killed themselves to keep us going, keep our hospitals running. Yes, the doctors do what they do. But let's face it, these people, the, the, the hospitals don't run without the nurses. Um, <clears throat> EMT people, ambulance, fire, uh, police, all of these people that were given a choice of you, you have a job, but you have to be double vaccinated. And if you're not double vaccinated, you do not have a job, you know, and in some cases, some of the, some of the officers or ambulance or, or fire department, fire, uh, firefighters, they were given the choice that they, they were, you know, uh, maybe they were old enough. They said, forget it. And they walked away, but a good majority of them that didn't want to take the shot were forced to take the shot because they didn't, they didn't want to lose their jobs. That's what this convoy is about. It's to say that, you know what? I respect you. If you take your shot, you're my friend. I respect you. If you don't take that shot, you're still my friend. I'll work with you. I'll, I'll, I'll anything you want, but I have a choice. When you give me an ultimatum, that's no longer a choice. And that's what we're fighting for. That's, that, that, I don't like to say the word we're fighting for because we're not fighting. We're not rolling into Ottawa and kicking open, kicking, going in there to kick down doors and cause a problem and disrupt the public and cause problems for the, for the local, you know, Ottawa police and the OPP. We are not looking for that. That is not what this is about. What this is about is simply saying to the government, you've overreached your boundaries and you've, you've taken your, you've gone too many, too many steps past the line. And we need to do something about it. And we'd like to be heard. Simple. It's not hard. Um, it's going to be potentially a little messy. But we're hoping that, you know what? Hey, the public is on board with us. Be patient with us. We're doing this for you. If you're in any industry where somebody has said to you, you need to get the shot or you can't do this doesn't mean necessarily you can't work or if you have to take a shot to do anything, then you know what? They've taken your choice away and given you an ultimatum. And that's what this convoy is about. And that is what I am supporting. Loud and proud. I got no problems saying no. I support this convoy. I support the people that are doing the convoy. I support anybody associated with this convoy. I am on board with this. Um, so if you are seeing this and you can't be in the convoy, you know what? Uh, the convoy was leaving Toronto at uh, one o'clock on Thursday. 
going to Kingston. So you get yourselves on the overpasses and you know what? You show your, you show, show your support, show the, the, the these guys and show all of us, you know, that w while times were, uh, times were bad and we were working uh, during the beginning of COVID holding this country together, we held you, we, you know, we kept you going, show us that you support us. That's all we ask. Just show us you support us. Show us a little love. We'll do our best to make this as peaceful and as easy as possible. Yes, we're going to we're gonna jam up the city. And yes, there's going to be some people that are inconvenienced. If you live in Ottawa, go do your grocery shopping tomorrow. Don't wait till Saturday. It's not going to happen. Um, you know, if you're expecting a UPS package, sorry, uh, we don't know what to say. But this is important. This is a milestone for our country. So that's my two cents. Um, you know what? If you agree with me, great. I appreciate that. If you don't, you are 100% entitled to that. I, and, and you know what? I will respect your opinion of what you want to say and the way that you think. You know, you're still my friend. It doesn't matter to me. Anyway, again, that's my two cents. I'll see you down the road. Uh -huh.